Resources in Godot are amazing. Resources are the powerhouse of Godot. Nodes get a lot of love and focus in Godot and for a good reason. Most of the engine's features rely on nodes, but nodes don't do anything on their own. Nodes use data contained in resources to provide functionality. Resources are data containers and they hold a huge number of different kinds of data. It could be an image, a script, animations, any property that you can export on a node, like strings, integers, or vectors, can be exported on a resource. And on top of all this, you can create your own resources as well. All you have to do is create a script, have it extend resource, and give it a name. Then, once you have defined the parameters, you can add it to any script you want and have it access that defined data. After that, you can go back to the editor, right click on a folder, choose new resource, then type the name of your resource in the box. Give it a name and hit save. Then you can give each field a value and that's it. You've created a custom resource, but how can you access it? To do this, you can create an export variable in your script of the name of a resource, or it could just be of type resource then drag the resource to that export field and that script will now have access to that data. Sounds great, but what value could this have for your game? Well, depending on what you're working on, there might be a ton of data for you to store. If it's an RPG, you have weapons, stats, enemies, and drop rates. All these could be resources that you could create and customize for each situation, so you don't have to redefine them all the time. These things can also be a CSV or JSON file as well, or some other database. Using a resource can give you amazing utility, and they don't need to be passed in like other data structures. They also inherit object and resources, which means they can do a lot more than just hold data. They can also define methods and signals. For me, I'm working on my FPS template and updating it for Godot 4. It's already available by the way, and can be downloaded over on my website, shaftgames.com. In my old template, I had used classes and tried to create a node that could be used for both the physical weapons you could pick up and the weapons you could hold. The idea being one object, less work. But as a lot of you pointed out, this effectively locked me out of ever being able to add a character rig into the template. Not to mention this actually created a lot of work to change weapons. For Godot 4, I opted to switch to using resources because at the end of the day, my weapons are just data. And the only thing I really need to know is what animations to use for which weapon I have active. And the results show, I've been able to effectively switch rigs on this template in 10 minutes or less. <laughs> it would have been even faster if I didn't have to fiddle with the LOD bias after I imported my rig. Uh, not sure what's going wrong there. It really is as simple as creating a new weapon resource, defining the animations, the ammo, and some other parameters, and assigning the animation player. There are other things to be done after swapping the rig, like adding the rigid body version of the weapon after it's dropped, but this is really an upgrade from what I was working with before, which was a bit of a mess if I'm being completely honest. So all of these resources are just a list of different kinds of animations the ammo, damage, basically any behavior that I need to know about, whether it's a hit scan weapon or a projectile, and the weapon manager, which is just a state machine, will query the current weapon for the animation to play, the ammo to reduce, what kind of weapon to drop if you press the drop button. So since it's all abstracted, swapping the rig is just a matter of bringing in a new model, creating a set of resources for each weapon, and assigning them to the weapon manager. Also, if you're looking for a tutorial on how to set this weapon manager up, make sure to like and subscribe because I'm currently working on my biggest series yet on how to make this exact FPS weapon manager system. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's exactly what I was going for with this asset. Um, it's live right now on itch and also on my website, chaffgames.com. One other major announcement is that I recently launched my Patreon. I'm giving members right now access to the first part of this FPS weapon manager tutorial. I have episodes from creating the animation player, 
the weapon resource, all the way up to setting up the hitscan and projectile weapons in Godot 4. And I'm planning on expanding on that real soon. We're going to go all the way up to creating a fully fledged FPS weapon manager system. So if you want to support me and get access to all these videos in advance, make sure to jump over to patreon.com slash shaft games. Other than that, I'll see you guys next week where we'll start going over setting up the animation player and creating our weapon resource script. I'm Isaac from Shaft Games and I'll see you next time. Ugh! <laughs>